If you are looking for great food, amazing cocktails, and the best view here in PB, Steve Springer and I have found the place for you. And you won't believe the amazing specials they have during the week to draw you in. Mr. Steve Springer, how are you today? I'm doing great. How about you? Good, and you brought Masu. Did I say right? Yeah. Yes. That's it. Ten I'm points, Molly. <laughs> how are you? Yeah, I'm doing great. Good, and you brought me out to one of my favorite places. Where are we at today? Shore Club, right here in PB, where Grand meets the sand. Oh, that's pretty. Did you make that up? No, nope, they did. Oh, I, I thought you did. I was about to give you credit on it. It's very nice. Well, thank you so much for having us here today. Yeah, welcome. Welcome to PB Shore Club. Thank you. So, Steve, you picked this place not only because they have great cocktails, but also because they're really involved in the community, is that right? Yeah, it's a great spot to hang out. Obviously, we've got a, a killer deck here on the ocean front, but these guys are also really involved in community issues. So they're on the board at Discover PB Hospitality Group. They also do a lot of charity work, so they organize beach cleanups. Uh, they participate in our charity golf event and countless other things that they do to not only get people to their bar, entertain them there, but be involved in the community and be a positive force. That's huge. That's really cool for a bar to do. I don't really hear of a lot of bar bars doing that. Yeah, we're, we're involved in a lot of stuff. Billy's great about that. With being a military town and being a military, we take care of different branches that come in here and different people that come in here. We're a sports bar. We have all kinds of different events coming in here. It's a fun place to be. You can't beat the beach. And, and in terms of the military aspect, you guys are also a Navy bar, right? Yeah, so right, yeah. Navy games are on TV here. It's always a big deal. It's They've a got huge, their uh, huge event here. shore club drinking glove with the Navy uh, logo on it. So it's a cool place to hang out and you know they, they keep true to their roots. So they've got a Navy background and they're a spot for Navy to come and watch their games. Okay, so now that we touched on it, we have to talk about this. What are they? Uh, it's a drinking glove. It's, uh, it's meant pretty much to keep your hand warm while you're drinking cold slushies. That's pretty cool. I mean, I, I like a good cocktail, so now I'm going to have to carry this around in my purse with me. It also has a, a, a fan page, and it's, uh, it travels. That glove goes around the world. Yeah. If you come and you take a look at the, on the way to the restroom, it's been around. And uh, if we like your photo, we'll put you up on the wall, and you can be a part of this as well. Yeah. Steve, can we take a couple pictures today so we can get up on the wall? I'm pretty sure we're going to get up there. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, so this place is one of my favorites. Like I said, love the Red Bull Vodka Slushies. Love Certainly everything that you guys are doing and the new deck edition. It's been great. Very awesome. So one other thing that I love in PB is the real estate. And yeah. you are the pro on it. Yeah, so PB is a great spot to live, great spot to visit. Um, I've got a couple new listings down in Mission Beach, actually. These are great vacation rental properties, great second home, great primary residence. So one of them is a nice single family house um, right at Mission Boulevard and uh, Dover Court. Um, that one's got six bedrooms, four and a half baths, uh, and that one's listed for $2,250,000. Then I've got the building across the street that's uh, two condos. That one's huge. Each unit is over 1,800 square feet. One of them's almost 2,900 square feet. And that one's listed for three million thirty thousand. So those are um, just listed and available now. Wow, they sound wonderful. Mm -hmm. They're I, nice. And it's always nice for people that want to live in Mission Beach and PB because they get to enjoy so much over here. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot happening in PB right now, right? Yeah, there's all types of good things. You know, these guys participate in like restaurant walks and uh, Taste of PB, also um, PB Fest. So that's a chance to come down by the beach do a little tour of a number of different restaurants, number of different shops, and check out what they have to offer. You pay a flat fee, you get a ticket to everywhere. That's one of my favorite events of the year, and they do that twice a year, once for the coast, and once for the interior restaurants, the heart of PB Restaurant Walk. That's really cool. Yeah, it's a good chance to get a good taste of what we're having here, and, and all the other restaurants that participate, and you get a little taste of everything. And... Okay, so I know I have a great excuse to come out here on the weekends, obviously the Red Bull Vodka Slushies, but during the week, what are some of the things that draw people in here? Yeah, during the week, we have every day we have pretty much a different special. So Monday's industry day. We take care of all the industry, bar, bar crowds, bar industry. We want, want you guys all in here. We do half off all day long. After eight o'clock, the slushies go down to half off. Tuesday, we do Taco Tuesday, starts around four in the afternoon. Great taco specials and cocktails that come with it. All our tacos are made in-house, homemade, nothing's frozen, weird. Our chef takes a lot of pride in what we put out. Wednesday, monster. It's our fish races night. Fish races? Yeah, you guys ever been to goldfish races yeah. here? No. It's a beast. It starts around 
uh, 9, 9.30, 10 o'clock, first race. We, get, we do about five races. It's a $5 buy-in, $80 bar tab if you win. Friday, we do a sunset special. Uh, the Big Wave's on special and the Jameson's on special. Great place to hang out, watch a killer sunset, have a couple cocktails, and start your weekend off. Steve, will you include all those days on your Facebook so I can look them up, please? Yeah, definitely, and I challenge you to a goldfish race. Oh, that's a good one. $80 bar tab would really help me out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one of the other things that I think is gonna draw a big crowd that you were telling me about is this nasty grunion run. I don't know if it draws a big crowd, but it can be pretty fun. It's a San Diego tradition to find out when the grunion runs are, go down to the water, and hopefully you'll see it. So this is when the grunions spawn and they come up in the waves, and all of a sudden you're walking along and in normal waves, next thing you know, there's thousands of fish on the beach. On yeah, your feet? That is a thing, yes, yeah, I've seen so it, I've witnessed it. You, you come here, you get, you get a cocktail at sunset on their awesome deck, you check the times for the anticipated grunion run, and you go down and walk on the water, and you'll see it. It's pretty cool. I need more than one cocktail to be surrounded by thousands of fish on my feet. I'm just being honest here. <laughs> this does not sound like my cup of tea, but you said it's really cool. It's cool, yeah. I actually have stumbled on it in the past um, on purpose and on accident. So I've just been walking down the beach, all of a sudden a bunch of fish hit my feet, and it's like, what the heck is going on? But you'll see people out there with flashlights, with buckets, um, really you know, having fun with the grunion run. And last couple weeks of May, first couple weeks of June? Yeah, and then you can check a calendar, and I'll, I'll post it on my Facebook page, okay. all the grunion runs for 2018, um, and it'll just tell you the optimal time to go out there. Okay, so I will make sure I check that calendar as the optimal times not to go out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's my goal. All right, well, I am so happy to be at one of my favorite places in PB. So, Steve, thank you so much for having me out here today. Yeah, no, thanks for joining me. Yeah, and thanks for having us at the PB Shore Club. Cheers. Oh, wait, should we put on our gloves first? We gotta have gloves. All right, put on your drinking gloves, you guys. Serious business. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Introducing S1 Connect by Synergy One Lending, a company committed to making your home buying experience easy and convenient. S1 Connect is the best way to simplify your home buying experience so that you can get your dream home faster. Whether you're a baby boomer, a millennial, or a luxury home buyer, S1 Connect offers you the opportunity to receive real-time notifications about your home loan so that you're informed every step of the way. Apply for a loan from anywhere. Compare various loan scenarios to help determine which product best fits your needs. Track your home loan progress with real-time notifications. Safely and securely upload loan documents from your mobile device. And have instant access to your loan officer and real estate agent. Basically, we're all about speed, ease, and expertise at Synergy One, so download the S1 Connect app today. To learn more about S1 Connect, visit us at s1lending.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to find out everything we have going on at Synergy One Lending. Wow, this looks nice. I've never been to Lake San Marcos before, but I'm meeting my good friend Gary Massa here, and I'm excited to see what he's got in store. Hey, how Gary, are you? I'm great, how are good. you? Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And the wine, oh. Gary, thanks for taking me here. I've never been to this restaurant, never been to this lake, and I'm so happy I got to catch you. I know you were just filming a new listing right up the hill from here. Yeah, no, we, we just finished up a great little, uh, great property actually up on La Plaza, some great views. But again, I'm glad you're able to come down and meet me. This community has so much to offer. I just wanted to give you a quick little tour. And you know what? I know the view's great from up here, but I've got a boat down, down at the marina. Oh, you nice. wanna go take a spin around the lake and check it out from on the water? Absolutely, let's finish these up and head out on the lake. Sounds good to me. Cheers.
San Marcos, but I've never heard of Lake San Marcos and I would have never known there was an actual lake here. So where do you find a gem like this? How did you find out about it? Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's one of those little hidden secrets that's actually been evolving uh, since 2012. You know, originally this, uh, this whole area, Lake San Marcos, was built in the late 1960s, uh, basically as a, a luxury master planned, like retirement type community. Uh, they brought in the golf, the resort, and all those things. And, and as, you know, in that many years, uh, people enjoyed it, loved it, but you know, the, the steam just kind of uh, wore away and people just didn't really come here as much. Um, and then more recently in 2012, um, one of the hospitality corporations, you know, huge here in the United States, came in and bought the uh, bought the lodge and the uh, the resort and the hotel out of bankruptcy, and then started to revitalize the whole area. And there's been a huge transition since over like the last six eight years, which included uh, remodeling entirely the hotel, the resort, the golf. Uh, the, the two golf courses and the, the different restaurants surrounding that, they've spent about $65 million apparently wow. in the last like eight years renovating the whole entire community. And now there's so many activities like boating, uh, you know, lake activities, tennis, golf, country club and a lot of social activities including even some like live music venues around here so it's it's just great fun for all ages and yeah. and now you know we're just seeing a, a, a mix of different type of people coming in and really starting to enjoy the lake nice so you say like back you know decades ago it started as more of a retirement community Correct. but now it seems like the intentions a little bit different kind of being open to um, all ages families right. uh, young and old together um, how do you think that's really maybe uh, changed the the whole feel for this place do you think it was a good step in the right direction oh absolutely because I mean realistically over time the the whole all the facilities in the homes just started to look a little tired right and yeah. then it needed some needed some some love and somebody to come back in and, and once I feel that you know the the investors came in and started renovating the the hotel and the resort and just started rebranding it and giving it a new face um, there was a whole new group different group of people that started coming in here and then Investors started buying the homes, started renovating them, rebuilding new new homes, oh, nice. uh, and there's just been a huge change in terms of the whole, you know, like an entire facelift of the entire community. Has yeah. Been happening. Well, that's really exciting, and like you said, a lot of money poured in here. So, what's it like to maybe actually own a home here? What's kind of the range, and how close can it get to the lake? How far does it go back? So there's quite a few different homes around the lake. There's, like I said, about 20 different homeowners associations around the lake and a section that actually doesn't have any homeowners association. So okay. there's condos, townhomes. There's also these homes that are right around the lake that vary from twin homes, meaning like they're duplexes, but they're individually owned on each side to fully detached homes. Um, and then from here, it kind of goes out in the neighborhoods. There's like about six different fingers on the lake. So there's a lot of lakefront property um, as well. It goes all the way up to the top of the hill on one of the most coveted streets, La Plaza. And that that street is is actually very desirable because it has those acre to two acre lots. A lot of them have producing avocado groves uh, on the property that are actually profitable and still producing. That's and awesome. you, you have those larger, beautiful luxury style homes, which people are now starting to to purchase and renovate that have extraordinary views over all of Lake San Marcos, the community of Lake San Marcos and all the way up to the mountains, the San Bernardino Mountains. And in the wintertime, you get snow capped mountains, the lake in the front, and it's just extraordinary so you know there's a lot of different types of housing available for so many different types of people here amazing so it really sounds like there's a lot going on here it sounds like a lot of fun and from what I imagine anybody can just come here and rent a boat as well and, and take use of the lake that's right so the homes around the lake most of them have their own private docks you can't come and you know put your own boat in the water you know so to speak unless you own a property here okay uh, however the marina does rent out about eight different pleasure boats they rent out fishing gear fishing boats um, you know a paddleboard non motorized boats like the big bicycles with the big wheels um, you know just a lot of different activities going on for you know for everybody around the lake um, plus there's like lakeside dining if you wanted to get uh, like a happy hour cocktail or whatnot yeah. rent a boat like we just did and yeah. you know and come out and cruise the lake and enjoy the weather uh, do a little fishing if you wanted to yeah it sounds just like really perfect honestly and you know even though we're inland, you still have this body of water, so it's like you don't even have to leave to go to the beach if you want right. to just stay a little local. How about things like special events, maybe weddings or big graduation parties? Do you think those kind types of things would be appropriate here? Oh, absolutely. So the the hotel resort actually does have its own uh, venue space if you wanted to have like a, a meeting or a, I don't know, a family 
a family gathering. Sure. They do have an island out here, which I'm told that they are shuttling people to to, to do weddings. Apparently, they just had a hundred person wedding out here. Oh, how cool! Um, there's also like in the summertime, they do have their live music venues, uh, like their concerts by the lake. Oh, so nice. I was told that the last one was about 750 people, and they tend to have different live cover bands come out, uh, and it sounds like it's just a, a great experience. Amazing. Well, Gary, I can't thank you enough for really bringing us out there. This seems like, just like you said, a secret gem. I certainly would have never have found this or thought right. a lake was here. So let's continue to cruise. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming out. Let me show you the dam on the other side of the lake. Perfect. One of the things you'll notice about downtown San Diego are all the new residential developments. People are moving to downtown San Diego to live and also to work. So with the challenges of a work-life balance, we're always trying to find a fast, nutritious, healthy way to eat. I have found the perfect place that will cater a meal specific to you. Well, Dean, I feel like every time uh, we meet for our monthly segments, we are really indulging in a lot of food. And so today I'm a little bit excited because we're actually learning maybe what a normal portion should be. Yeah. We, we, we have a little running joke. It's a cheat day every time we get together, right? Exactly. So maybe today is kind of like a, the, the right balance. So Ed, thanks for having us here at Portions. Can you just tell us how long you've been here and what you guys really provide? Um, we've opened up about two months ago. I've owned the business for the past two years. Uh, primarily, we're a meal prep company, mm -hmm. um, but we also have opened the health food cafe to coincide with the prepared meals. Okay. What types of meals do you have? And I know a lot of people have different dietary restrictions and things like that. So how, uh, how crazy do you guys get with facilitating people's needs? Uh, we run the gamut from losing weight, gaining weight, maintaining weight, any type of dietary restrictions. We have a specific like lifestyle menu where you can kind of pick and choose off of uh, just a basic generic menu built out for your daily nutrition. And oh, then we you have- you guys tailor it? Yeah, we have tailored programs as well too. So awesome. we do consultations with most of our clients and we put them on a specific macro-based program. Wow. Um, but then you have your everyday nine to fivers who just want to eat overall healthy and not go to get yeah, a slice yeah. of pizza or a burger. So Absolutely. we have menus uh, tailored to them and then we have the other menus for more like a macro base okay. or specific dietary needs. Perfect. Well, I know, Dean, you're also really into fitness. I and love, yeah, I love eating <laughs> healthy and try, I try my best. Let's just put it that way, except for when we get together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Friday cheat day. So in East Village, um, this part of town has seemed to really transform. Um, yeah. Can you kind of give us a little update about what's going on? Absolutely. So it's all about redevelopment right now here in uh, downtown. Uh, we They've got a couple of projects. One of them is Park 12. And that's, a, that's actually a luxury uh, apartment community that's uh, should, it's actually set to open soon, um, probably in the next couple of months. But it's the largest apartment luxury community um, in the history of San Diego, actually. So if you can afford a two bedroom at 4,000 or a three bedroom at 6,000, this place is for you. Yeah, right? <laughs> this place is for you. Um, they, and then you know what? They have another one that's called the uh, Manchester Pacific Gateway, and it's uh, it's a big project. It's a 1.5 billion dollar project, seven acres, and it's going to include everything. I mean, five star resorts, parks, retail, parks, uh, parks inside. It's seven acres, so. I mean, as, this place was beautiful enough, but imagine when that thing comes out, right? Absolutely. It's gonna be great. So you've been in San Diego for a little bit of time. How does this really help enhance like the whole experience here in downtown and maybe getting more people to live here? Yeah, I mean, obviously jobs. I mean, it's it's gonna have a ton of real retail there. So, and you know, the price value. So if you're looking to buy in the area, hands down, invest now because in the next four or five years, holy cow. Okay, so we're right? really seeing an explosion yeah, down there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that should be good news for you guys then, <laughs> keeping, keeping you busy. Um, so what's a little bit of the background? How did you get started in doing this? So I owned a meal prep company back east uh, about like seven, eight years ago. Okay. Uh, when I moved out here seven, eight years ago, um, my plan was to restart the, the company back out here. Fell into love with California. I started surfing every day and kind of became complacent and um, it, it kind of fell to the wayside. Happen. I went back to running restaurants. Uh, about two years ago, I was going through a divorce. I wasn't in the best of shape, and I'm in my 30s now, so I was wanted to get back into shape. Yeah. 
Uh, I started cooking for myself again, made some significant changes. A few people asked me to cook for them and then it kind of snowballed and started off the meal prep company. And then we decided to open up a, like a health food cafe to, to go with it. So. Nice. I understand too, um, lots of the, the gyms around this area too can kind of get some of your meals pre-packaged. What do you guys do for, for the gyms around here? Uh, we have a partnership with Fit right now. We do um, prepared meals for them. We drop them off X amount of meals a week. Um, we do a couple other facilities at 45. We have a partnership with, they do eight week programs. Okay. Um, for like body challenges and weight loss and things like that. So we put together meal packages to coincide with the workout plans. Uh, and then we also do a couple Pilates studios locally as well. Um, with our packages, we do our meals on consignment. Mm -hmm. So we'll place them in your gym. If you sell them, you pay for them. If you don't sell them, we take them back and we donate them to the homeless. Oh, wow. awesome. Oh, that's great. Um, so living out here in San Diego, I feel like this is like the, the biggest fit, right? It seems oh, like fitness is such a high priority for a lot of people around here. So um, I know in your instance, as somebody who does a lot of fitness in your lifestyle, and then Ed, in your situation where you're kind of helping to provide people with the, the right amount of meals and the, the right portions, if you will, um, how does it just feel to like be able to provide to your community? And for you, how does it feel to really provide to your clients this fitness edge as well? Yeah, you know what, I so uh, there's backstories to me on, on the reasons why I do it, and I think everybody has their reasons on why they want to do it for me. You know, family doesn't come from a very good genetic line, so I've got a number of things that I had to deal with growing up. But if I can provide even you know anyone some help and guidance along the way, including even though I'm real estate based, right. right? Including them, which they do reach out to me about that, then you know I, I've done my job as far as what I can give in, in the fitness industry. And what about for you, Ed? It's nice to be able to pair up with the fitness proper diet and meals and things like that because it you know you can work out to your blue in the face it's 70 percent of what you eat is how you're going to look amen so it's it's nice to be able to provide people with that service so they can actually see results and and help them along and, and achieve their goals definitely because so. i feel like once you start feeling really good with your body then like your mindset kind of shifts too well there's obviously so much amazing food here things to try so i'm ready to just get down to it and these gluten-free pancakes i think have yeah my name so on it. okay all right so for those of you at home we talked about this we did and we're gonna fight over this so we're gonna rock paper scissors over this okay let's you do ready it. yeah okay let's go one two three oh. <laughs> all right I'll get, get the I'll get the shrimp. How about that? Sounds good. All right.